got an opportunity for you. You don't want to miss it! Warmest greetings, Vault Hunter. As you know, I, Sir Hammerlock, am an adventurer. And they say that the ultimate adventure is love. And adventures are best enjoyed together, which is to say... What Alistair is trying to spit out is that we are getting married. And we want you at our wedding party. Wainwright and I have found the perfect venue. Small village, quite charming. It's a frozen wasteland. That's the charm. We can hunt ravenous beasts across the tundra. I think I'd rather cozy up to a crackling fire with a nice whiskey. Well, that is why we are staying at this charming lodge, so we can sample the hospitality of the locals. Well, I saw a few of them sprouting tentacles, but as long as they keep them off my whiskey, we're going to be fine. <laughs> How charming. Anyway, please do us the honor of joining us for a weekend of guns, love, and... Tentacles. What more could the heart desire? I have a 
survived, but there is no party. Can you hear me? Hmm. Nothing. I must hunt for the party myself. Your life, it death. That's the spirit. Do you see me? Should get us up to the lodge. Come on, let's walk and talk. 
Crap. I think one of those crazies ate my RSVP ledger. Did you have a plus one? Yes, my beast. And whatever carcass that is slain for my approval. My plus one is Death Trap. Built him myself. He is my bestie for the rest. Tritanium reinforced armor plating, monomolecular laser cloth, and he makes one hell of an omelet. As long as Death Trap's by my side, I know everything is going to be okay.
tried to get him to relax, but he insists on dashing about, making sure everything is perfect. But the party must continue. Thank you for tracking all the way out to this frigid wilderness. Winnie will be back soon, and all will be well. Yes, yes, this will be a celebration to remember. Okay, wedding planner powers, activate! We need party decorations, stat, vault hunter! I'm thinking balloons. That tale sounds invigorating, but oh, what's that? The hunt is calling me outside right now. I can't turn down the hunt, you understand? Oh, but you've only just arrived. Uh, no matter, the banana can wait. And if you see Winnie out there, do tell him to come in from the cold. I must do a favor for the groom. 
It sounded most urgent. Ah, you have a responsibility to assist. I understand. If you must venture outside the lodge, you should know. The people of this town are all afflicted in their own ways. Some might say cursed. You might encounter some strange behavior. Do return to the lodge will miss you. Just outside the wedding venue, Vault Hunter. You're gonna wanna see this. Treasure, I see. Such oh, you know what? Tapioca. That texture. Ugh. Well, I can't argue with that, but those are troubles of the real. My fears are more intangible. Alistair, he's a man of adventure. Darren do, he'd say. He climbs mountains and tames jungles and loves every second. But that ain't my vintage. Sometimes I convince myself he'd rather be with someone a little more gung-ho, a little more exciting. Ah, uh, don't mind me. Let's hurry up. You hear that? There's people in there. Maybe they'll let us in. Domino! It's happening! Got to get away! Hmm, strange fella. Let's cut through here. Isn't this act known as breaking and entering? We ain't breaking anything, we're just entering. 
And I already paid our deposit, so I'd like to see them keep me out. An infestation? I hope the venue is in better shape than this. This is no mistake. to remember!
You were there. Look, he's coming around. Winnie, are you all right? The heart still beats. Winnie, wake up. Mm -hmm. Oh, Vault Hunter, there you are. I must have dozed off for a moment. Must have been the whiskey. Here, take my shotgun. Can't trust my hands right this moment. Well, I suppose that's one way to start the celebration. But now, thanks to Gage and the Vault Hunter, it seems everything has settled down. We're back on track, and I'm sure nothing else will go wrong. My esteemed gift, might I have a word? Over here, at the counter. 
I'm afraid the young groom-to-be isn't out of danger. He brought something back with him into the lodge. You should attempt to remove that ring from his finger without alarming the happy couple. What were you doing out there? I'll keep your chaps on, Alistair. We just ran into some roll-wearing punks with bad manners, and the vault hunter and I had to be the sense of decorum into them. Nothing more to worry about. Help me, Mix. Darkness itself. I go by DJ Midnight. Gage high medicine, dark dirges, and makes malevolent melodies through me and die in love. Those are stale. Putrid! I require new sounds. Record some sinister sounds for me. <clears throat> yeah. Dark dirges. Malevolent melodies. Sinister sounds. Yes, yes, I am into it. Excellent. And so our dark journey begins. We hunt for the sinister sound. Take that echo recorder, my trusty conductor. Do be careful. Your actions this night have stirred the bonded into quite the frenzy. The streets will be rather hazardous. You could always stay here. The Lodge wants you to be... Let's hunt. Whatever respite the Lodge provides you is only temporary. And while my beloved recovers, I will have to content myself with you. So let's play, Worm. Mission update. I roughed up a local priest and he told me the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge was last seen in a haunted shipwreck in the Tavern of Unmentionable Sorrow. Wish me luck! Rest now. Your hunt is over. Death welcomes you. Talking to Halan a while ago. There we go again. 
Thank you for your assistance. And now I leave you to your regurgitating. Oh yeah, sure thing. You're very welcome. Huh. Holy crap! You scared the bequeezes out of me. What do you want? I hunt for Burton Briggs. But not to kill him, just to be clear. I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack at this rate! Look, I saw Burton with... What did you... Did you just... No? Okay. Saw Burton with Gina. Leave me alone, I'm... What was that? Nothing? I'm okay. I'm okay. I presume there is something super weird about you, too. Oh, piss off with all that. I don't need this right now. Or ever! Screw you! This all seems very uncalled for. Simply tell me the whereabouts of Burton Briggs, and we can put this interaction behind us. Burton? That drunken moron who plays detective? Yeah, I know where he is. Told me he was going off to the freaking cemetery, like an idiot! Now get out of my face! Fine. Also, I suggest you try meditating. Morons! Everyone's morons! And I'm so angry about it! God damn it!
right out. Call me Bert. Greetings, Bert. No, that's not right. Bert it is. So, what's your story, friend? I must release my friend from the grip of a cursed ring. I seek to know its nature. Cursed ring. I've got a hunch it has something to do with the bonding. And I always follow my hunches. Thank you. But if it's the bonded you're investigating, you should head to the town archives. Here, this key should get you in. My way of saying thanks. A handy trick. As for me, I can't remember what the six and a half hells I was doing here, so I'll head back to the old uh, lonesome shop. <clears throat> Now that we're working together, here's a completely unsolicited monologue about my life. No, that's okay. You don't have to. It all started... Well, I'm not sure. Just between us, Vault Hunter, I feared this weekend wouldn't have enough excitement, but... Now we are embroiled in occult secrets, diabolical curses, and great big monsters. It's the wedding I always dreamed of. I'm still wrestling with this mystery. I really don't know whether I go by burden or burden. Come here, girl. The archives keep strange, unknowable hours. Mostly because they're not posted anywhere. The only way in is through the old librarian, Harriet. Now, go blow something up! Greetings. I require entry into the archives. It is of dire consequence. Why do you keep your voice down? This is a place of quiet learning and solemn contemplation. Hey, Harriet. Let them in, won't you? I helped you find that missing locket, didn't I? No, oh, fine. But don't you cause a ruckus, you hear me? And this makes us even, Bert. Why that work? I wasn't sure if that locket bit was true. Now, you'll want to make your way to the holography room to find what you're searching for. The holo projector will have some info on the town's history. I see you delving into my past, worm. Oh, you are tenacious, aren't you? <laughs> I haven't had a plaything like you in quite some time.
videotapes around the archives. Uh, I'm guessing. I'll let you handle this bit. You'll have to excuse me for a moment. Uh, I must be stoically pensive. If I were the Olmsteads, I'd hide my past where nosy citizens wouldn't happen across it. Wait, am I an Olmstead? No, 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 that's not right. I'm Burton. Burton Briggs. Burton. After all, <laughs> darling, really, you worry too much. And 
interesting. But there must be more. Find another tape. Again, uh, not ordering you around or anything, just, just trying to help. Suppose I'll take that. Ah, 
Jerusalem, day 162. I am worried about Vincent. He is obsessed with Gideon's heart. I can hardly understand the things he's been saying lately. He believes the heart holds the key to eternal life, but we still barely understand the mutagenic and metaphysical properties of Gideon's power. I don't know what to do. Wriggle all you want, worm. It will make no difference.
Vincent, I'll see him again very soon. Welcome back to my humble establishment. I am over here at the counter. Greetings again, Thin One. I have returned with a device. Indeed. Please place this relic you've recovered into the player so that we might reveal the mysteries of the young. chamber alone. I chased after him, but I was too late. The heart consumed him, but he still lives, entombed within. Perhaps there is still a way to free him. Vincent's research showed the precursor technology had some sort of bond with Githian's heart. I will need something to focus this bond. A ring. Yes! I will bring a sample of Githian's heart back to our ship for further study. Ah, of course. The ring power comes from the monster's heart itself. Well then, our purpose is made clear. We must destroy the heart. Eldritch Adventure Ho! The monster's heart lies deep below the town, directly below the wedding venue, in fact. That same power coursing through the young groom is blocking off all access. What if we use the power of the heart to cut through the force field? Eleanor said there was a piece of the heart on her research ship. Ah, there is an old doll research ship high atop the cursed mountain known as Negur Neshai. You heard Tall, Dark, and Spooky? Head to that mountain! I'll stay here and keep an eye on the grooms. You hear me? Stay out of trouble, you crazy kids, especially you, Wainwright.
quite helpless here. Oh, what I wouldn't give to go on a rousing adventure with you. If we don't destroy that monster's heart soon, I fear my very own heart might succumb to this sordid situation. Distract them! 
weakness is noted. a hunting camp. Have you knowledge of this place? Ah, yes, I have read about the local hunting traditions. Do you see a horn nearby? Often we hunters use those to announce our arrival so we aren't mistaken for an animal. Give that horn a mighty blow. themselves. You are strong, Guido. Follow me. I enjoyed sparring with you, fellow hunter. Do you slash with all your guests? How else can you know who you share your fire and your kind? Now, let us share tales over the flame. Time to feast. Just in time. I hope you're hungry, Guido. 
feast. Nourish yourself for the next class. I insist, you are my honored guest. This strange meat courses through me like machine oil. Not bad. <laughs> Kaif is strength, Kaido. It is power. Now, what brings you to my camp? My hunt brings me to the Cursed Mountain. You journey to Nagul Nishai. That mountain is a place of corruption. Madness. You have bested me. And so we are now friends. If the cursed mountain is your destination, then I will help you. The path to Nagul Nashai lies behind that mighty gate. Ice locks it. Is Melt it. We will need a very special kind of kite. The kite. Kasari Dabar, the dark and twisted home of the Wendigo. You will find it deep within the canker wood, across the frozen waters. This planet breeds rare and dangerous beasts. Back home, I was the region's tracker, but soon my quarry became predictable and unsatisfying. That is why I came here. No warrior can hunt the same quarry year after year, not without losing his edge. A hunter can never stop hunting. That's the spirit. A meager life, a fitting death.
skin it and make its pelt into a matching hat and coat to wear at your funeral. Me, you thorny bushes of the devil! Now get out of here. I don't want you. I do hope I'm not crashing your hunting party, but I was developing a terrible case of cabin fever. Well, shall we track down and kill this no doubt majestic creature together? The Wendigo is our quarry. We hunt. That's the spirit. We hunt! Your weakness is noted. quite so much time watching after my demon-possessed soon-to-be hubby, but ah, such is life. Still, it is nice to get some fresh air. I do hope it is all right. To be honest, I feel a little guilty of being at the lodge, but he's not much of a hunter. Not like I said, anyway. Don't 
Theon at this time. I hear you, beast! Must 
be fresh. Ah, the odor of seared flesh. The Windigo must burn its prey to death before eating it. Fascinating. Perhaps we'll find its weakness if we keep searching. Ah, that one is mostly bones. The Windigo <coughs> must feed on small creatures and also something earthy. Now I glean the truth in the stench. If the Windigo cannot find smaller prey, it feeds on the mushrooms of the forest. Our path becomes clear. We will bait the Windigo first and then go in for the kill. <coughs> first, Gisellium Avantis, a rare and deadly paralytic. It won't kill a creature the size of the Windigo, but it should daze it enough to make it a fair loss. Here. Now, to create an effective bait, we will need wolven meat and the juice of some local mushrooms. Meanwhile, I'll keep on the Windigo's trail and make sure the devil doesn't elude us.
whatever concoction they desire. The brewers have left their favorite recipes nearby. For your dark needs, I suggest you brew only the strongest available option. I'm afraid that mixture will not be up to the task. Sadly, that recipe would only render the Wendigo nostalgic for its childhood. Hardly a combat advantage. That mixture will not do.
appear to be making progress toward your goal. Kudos. What have you been up to? So, I battled the wizard in a contest of wits atop the spire of racking despair. I lost horribly and he imprisoned me, but luckily, uh, uh. I still had Paul with me, so I busted out! But not before stealing an ancient scroll that says the pearl of ineffable knowledge is, and I quote, Waiting just beyond the veil, in the wailing chasm of Tiktor Gamash! Looks like that's my cue! Gotta go! A splendid Vault Hunter! I could not imagine a better hunting partner! Quinny isn't one for hunting. He's blind in one eye or no. Good one! Oh, looking into it sets my heart aflame! Nonetheless, we haven't a moment to lose. To the lair, Vault Hunter!
what I said earlier about my confusion. When I laid eyes on the Windigo, I felt fear in my heart. But then I thought of Winnie. And I knew that nothing so pale and formless as fear could ever get in my way. I first became a hunter because for as long as I can remember, I've always been searching for something. Now I see that I have found it. I am no less the hunter for it. Now, I wish to be at Winnie's side. You have the trophies. Return with them to Eister. Good luck, Volta.
Those for treasure, I see.
I'm intrigued. This was always your end. Mancom sheep good at the bar said this place was an old dog <gasps> facility. They can be on the paranoid side when it comes to security, but I know all the tricks around that stuff. I was hacking doll tech when I was like six. Yo, death trap! Another mark! Oh, I know what this called. Okay, so I've been running some numbers and I'm pretty almost totally sure my plan will work. We get a piece of the monster part, then use it with death trap sick ass laser eye to blast down that force field around the venue. security turret of some kind. Perhaps this will suffice. Ooh, good fine. Like I said, those things need a lot of power. Make sure it'll actually work when we fire it up. Missing fuses. Okay, I got this. Uh, let me think. No fuse, no problem. If this place uses standard dull architecture, there should be another fuse in a redundant system nearby. Yes! One more fuse, but I thought of a solution. Go find one of those electric bugs that live around here. Its heart should work as a fuse in a pinch. Improv, baby!
having seen some rather odd side effects. There's this writhing sensation inside of me, and I've begun sensing things that aren't there. Sounds and scents, movement in the shadows. I feel somehow robust, but frail at the same time. I need help. I hope she'll forgive me. since Vincent was consumed. I can't sleep. I've been studying the heart piece day and night, and I think I've found my answer. The others won't understand, but no one matters except my beloved. I will make any sacrifice, cross any line if we can be together again. I need a large amount of power, so I am locking access to the reactor core to keep the others away. I won't stop until I've saved him. The reactor core! Makes sense! She needed time power to work on the heart! It's down in the bowels of the ship. Get a move on. <laughs> you can't take control of my own ship from me. Damn it. She's reactivating the thrusters. Oh, that ship is going to crack like a racket. Man. I wish that crap was here. It's so stressy and all right now. I won't let you destroy the life we've built here. You will not take it away from us. And you will not sever our bond. You're going to die on that mountain. Super mega buttload of power. Again, technical. 
medical term. If we drain that fusion reactor's power into him, he'll light up like a mercenary day tree. Well, minus the heads. All right, babe, get in there and juice up! Vault Hunter, guard Death Trap while he does his thing. Stop this instant! 
He's broken free, Vault Hunter. I must give chase. Elaborate. What is happening? Vault Hunter, Wainwright is heading for the venue. I'm in pursuit, but he runs like a man possessed, which actually he quite seems to be. Wait, is something... afraid your groom stepped out rather suddenly, but there are wicked things afoot in town. Perhaps you should stay here, where it's safe with me. Ready for a fight? We're just ahead, Vault Hunter. Once you get here, we're burning a path straight to the venue and getting this wedding back on track. No mercy, no prisoners, no RSVP. Heart laser! Burn them with the power of love! Yes! 
To the bloodletting! some service. The halls of the venue are a nest of secrets. For now, you must travel deeper. Now, I don't show this merch to just everybody. I've got bullets with your name on them. Well, hey, that came out wrong. Always a pleasure, Fulton.
are going out of style, but in my opinion, they're a timeless classic. I am alive, or something like it. Eleanor put the ring on Harrington's finger, and now, here I am, wearing Harrington like a glove. Yes, yes, that's exactly how it feels. Like I am holding my hand against... You descend now into the fleshy shell of Githium itself. Few who set foot there live to tell the tale, but I hope... I stay on the outside of beasts. How novel.
once again, my darling Eleanor. When they stop this, you have to fight back! That's quite enough out of you.
have let you have all the fun now, can I? <laughs> Fair enough. I'll sit this round up for you. Okay, Alistair? I was so afraid. So was I. But not anymore. Alistair, let's do this damn thing. Let's get married right here. Oh. But the rings? Well, I reckon the curse is lifted, which makes these rings just some fancy jewelry. Carved from the heart of a vault monster. Quite the collector's item. Well, then count me as a collector. Vault hunter, would you do the honors?
We are gathered here today, surrounded by undulating meat, to bring these two together. Wainwright, do you take this man to be your husband? Damn right I do. Hammerlock, do you take this man to be your husband? Without hesitation, indubitably yes. Then by the power vested in me as death's own emissary in this world, I pronounce you groom and groom. You may now rub your faces on each other.